Um, so, key figures from early feminist theology. Um, there are a lot of theological texts from um, well before the 20th century that one could regard as feminist theological texts. Um, one of the earliest, I suppose, that I quite like to teach is um, Margaret Fell, um, Women Speaking Justified, um, which is um, obviously mid-17th century um, Quaker text, Justification for Women, uh, women Preaching. Um, you could call that feminist if you like, although obviously it's written well before the, 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 the term feminism is, is, is invented. Um, there are um, a lot of interesting texts from what I've called the first wave of, of, of feminism. Um, the most famous and controversial, of course, is Elizabeth, Case, Elizabeth Cady Stanton's edited Women's, Woman's Bible, um, which is... Um, a, a, as, as it sounds, a, a commentary on the on the Bible, um, passage by passage, written from um, a feminist standpoint by um, a, a committee of um, scholars with who were in various ways inv involved in the feminist in, in the feminist movement in the, in, in, in the women's movement, um, which was um, hugely controversial for the extent to which it was prepared to criticise the biblical text, to call them patriarchal, um, to say um, no, these accounts of women, these visions of women are actually damaging to women um, in, our, in our context. Um, there's a lot of other um, important theological movement, uh, important theological work um, from that era coming out of, for example, the women's suffrage and anti-slavery movements in the United States, um, um, Josephine Butler and Ellis Hopkins and others who were involved in um, uh, social purity campaigns and um, suffrage in, 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 in the United Kingdom. Um, a, 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 a mass of theological work, which is already, I think, starting to um, bring out some of the themes that become really big in second wave feminist theology. Um, themes about um, asking questions about the relationship between the Bible and the way that it is preached in a patriarchal context, try to find space for spaces for women's interpretations of the Bible, um, which have previously been, uh, which, which it's claimed have previously been excluded, and ways of re also moves to reread Christian theological symbols, um, uh, so that they um, do not simply reinforce patriarchal patterns. When she come into um, second wave of, 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 of feminist theology. Um, uh, you, you, you've got a, a really interesting mix from quite early on. Um, probably the most famous um, feminist theologian of this, this, this wave would be Mary Daly, um, who's, I guess, notable for having written both one of the main Christian feminist um, early works, the, the Church of the Second Sex, and then the, one of the, the, the first major most important feminist attacks on Christianity um, beyond God the Father um, and, and a whole set of, 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 of subsequent works. She, she, she only died very, very, very recently. Um, and um, daily, so she was trained, um, trained in Roman Catholic theology um, and um, very, b b b very deeply um, imbued with the um, very radical ideas of, 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 second, wave, of second wave feminism. Um, and um, really in her, in her work, both before and after she moves decisively away from Christianity, um, she's um, criticising um, inter interlocking systems of the oppression of women relating both to institutional structures within Christianity, so she's challenging Christianity as a sexist institution, um, but also um, as a sexist symbol system, right? Um, She's, 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 she's making the, 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 the core claim that the way in which God and God's relationship to humanity is imagined within Christianity um, by the, is, is inherently um, damaging to, to women um, and is um, an ideological reinforcement of, 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 of patriarchy. Um, and um, that's, that, that, that beyond, beyond God the Father was, a, was, was and is a, a big deal. Um, it's uh, again a very, a very, very provocative work. Um, the style always feels owes, owes something to Nietzsche, although accusing Mary Daly of owing anything to male masters is 
a dodgy game to play, but um, it's, got, it's, it, it's got the same kind of um, iconoclastic character, um, the, 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 the sense that, uh, it, 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 an aphorist, aphoristic character, the sense that we, 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 we're, trying to, we're trying to think, we're trying to think the unthinkable, right? We, 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 we're trying to um, challenge what has been regarded as, to, to say that what has been regarded as, 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 as um, uh, unassailable as good as pious is in fact nothing of the nothing of the sort but then you've actually you've got you've got um within um uh shaping this the second wave of feminist theology you've also got theologians who um, are very clear about remaining within christianity um albeit doing um, a radically re reforming reading of it um often suggesting uh, looking for their um Christian basis, if you like, to the prophetic tradition and to Jesus as um, Jesus and his movement as continuing the radical prophetic tradition of the Hebrew Bible. Um, and the obvious example there is Rosemary Radford Ruther, um, whose um, sexism and God talk um, uh, throughout runs a, this, 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 double, um, this, this double narrative of a um, radically egalitarian, prophetic um, move, Christian movement um, which begins with Jesus and his early followers and one way or another continues throughout the Christian centuries but is repeatedly um, overlaid, by, um, overlaid with, suppressed by... Um, Reinscriptions re of, 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 of hierarchical and, 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 and patriarchal structures. Um, so um, she talks about she, 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 she in that work is, is, is looking at core Christian doctrines, looking at Christology, looking at understanding of the Church of, 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 of Mariology. Um, and she's from a Roman Catholic tradition as well, I should say, um, and, 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 and seeing in a sense, the ways in which they've, the ways in which they've gone wrong um, and what can be retrieved from within Christian tradition to, to, to reform them such that um, Christian, core Christian beliefs can continue to be affirmed but can be affirmed in a way that's um, not oppressive of, 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 of women um, or, of, or of other, other groups. Um, and you've got something similar going on, although in, in a different kind of mode, in the work of Elizabeth Schussler Fiorenza, um, whose really pioneering work is on, on New Testament interpretation. Um, and again, she's, she's working from a premise of an original egalitarian Jesus movement. And she's saying, if we read the New Testament through that lens, if we read the New Testament with the assumption that women were full participants in early Christianity. If we allow, to go back, go back to an earlier theme, um, if we don't assume that all the authority figures have to be men, if we don't assume that only men get to speak, um, how, does it, how does it look different, right? Um, what, 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 what traces of um, women's lives, um, women's voices, uh, women's ways of relating to God can be can be found within the within the New Testament texts um, and again she she ends up with a double narrative because she ends up with um, texts that um, speak of uh, a liberative um, movement for women and women's liberative experience um, and, 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 and texts that as, as she reads them reflect attempts to, 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 to stamp that out or to push that away. So she, 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 she sees this, this basic tension right, right, right back, in the, back in the New Testament. Um, so um, both of those, I mean, if you look at um, Ruth and, and, and Fiorenza and, and then look at them in relation to somebody like, like, like Daly, you can, you can see something of how early second wave fem feminist theology, theological debates got, got, got configured. It's putting the question, can Christianity be usable, habitable for um, women who um, are not prepared to accept patriarchal structures? Right? Can, can Christianity be anti-patriarchal? Um, uh, it's a question that you know, some answer with the negative, some answer with the affirmative, but in a way that's the, that's the question on the table. Um, and um, it's also clear that the, those early second wave feminist theologians um, who, who, who um, continue to identify themselves as Christian um, 
identified themselves as Christian, but in opposition to, in, 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 in willingness um, quite um, radically to critique um, significant parts of Christian tradition and, tradition and also of, 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 of Christian scripture. Um, and they're doing that in in fidelity to the gospel, in, in fidelity to the, the heart of the heart of Christianity, it requires that kind of that kind of critical move, the, that kind of prophetic move, if you like. So they identify them in, in a way they, they place themselves um, within the the prophetic tradition that they're that they're trying to try to trace back. Um, I mean, you, you've also, I guess, another dimension that you'd have to put in there in in, in that story would be would be women church. Um, would be because it's really easy to to read feminist theologians as just existing within the academy and just being individual figures, but actually, it, again, take the two examples that I've spoken of there who, who, who identify themselves as Christian, both Ruth and and and, and, and Fiorenza, um, uh, very, very much involved in um, movements for um, women's empowerment in and as um, liturgical communities and church communities. Um, so it's, it's, it, it's, they're linked to a grassroots movement of um, feminist and women-centered rethinking of the, of the, of the church. Um, and that's, I think that, that, that was, wasn't, yeah, in various ways is still quite a, quite a strong driving force for, for, for feminist theology. Um, I mean, there's, so, so in parallel with the, you know, the works of biblical criticism, works of systematic theology. Um, you've got feminist works of, 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 of liturgy um, and um, feminist works of, of, of works of ethics. Um, so, um, which are quite closely linked to um, thinking about women's experience, thinking about the the the, the, the practical ex women's practical experience of of, 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 of of feminist activism and the kinds of questions that that raises for for theology. Um, so that, I suppose, again, the, the, the other bit of the picture to bring in there is um, the links between feminist theology and, and liberation theologies, right? Um, you've, you've got um, this very strong sense that um, theological work arises from and is accountable to um, church communities um, focused on church communities that are working for social and political change. Um, and obviously this uh, work... In empowerment through communities um, was is, is the key feature of the second wave feminist movement in general. It's not just a, not just a church thing, if you like, but the, um, the 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 mode of working and way of thinking of of, of second wave feminist theology very much is very much drawn on.